Most of us are familiar with the story of Joseph Smith asking Heber C. Kimball for an Abrahamic sacrifice of his wife, Violet. But did you know that it also happened to John Taylor? So it turns out that Joseph Smith also went up to John Taylor and said, I want your wife, Lenora. John Taylor didn't answer right away and went home and told his wife about it. The story goes that Lenora was so upset that she put her fist through a window and that because of the broken glass, she lost one of her fingers. Lenore was pregnant at the time, and because of the stress of the proposed Abrahamic sacrifice, she lost the baby. When John Taylor returned to Joseph Smith, he said, Brother Joseph, if God wants Lenora, he can have her. Except that Joseph said, Brother Taylor, I don't want your wife. I just wanted to know where you stood. The story comes primarily from Wilford Woodruff. And further details were published in the book called Mormon Portraits. And Lenora recorded in her own diary, she said she lost her middle finger and her sweet baby. While this entry is silent on the matter of polygamy, we know that John Taylor himself became a polygamist and had between eight and 15 wives. This story is put into greater perspective when First Presidency member Jedediah M. Grant said in conference, did the Lord actually want Abraham to kill Isaac? Did the prophet Joseph Smith want every man's wife he asked for? He did not, but in that thing was the grand thread of the priesthood developed. The grand object in view was to try the people of God to see what was in them. If such a man of God should come to me and say, I want your gold and silver or your wives. I should say, here they are. I wish I had more to give you. Take all I have got. But how much of the story would Abraham change if he had killed his son? Would it still be faith promoting? And what about the stories of the wives that were given to Joseph in the eternities? Is it still faith promoting? And if it is, how is God creating a murderer and an adulterer faith promoting?